be like this. They are watching and learning from us. It was one of the most incredible experiences of my life. Oh. And I'll just end with, um, it's kind of science and poetry, you know, to think of like the theology of other cultures in the world. And the Tahitians actually believe in the octopus god, like before the Christian missionaries showed up, they had a big eight-sided temple to the first being, which mm. to them is the octopus, Nakika. Um, with its eight strong arms, it was said to have shoved the islands up from Tahiti, right from the bottom of the Pacific Ocean, where the sky beings dropped it, mm. to the northwest coast of British Columbia and Alaska, where the native peoples say that the octopus controls the weather and wields power over sickness and health, to Hawaii, where ancient myths tell us our current universe is really the remnant of a more ancient one, the only survivor of which is the octopus who managed to slip between the narrow crack between worlds. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Hmm. Cy Montgomery. <laughs> Come and check out the other books by her. It's such fascinating and intelligent creatures. I've seen a, a few uh, documentaries about them. And it's just amazing the way they are because they're, so, they're such creepy little critters, right? So but they're really they're they're really different in you know. Yeah, I think maybe what Bruce's talking about is there was a um, a big movie, a documentary, and I think it was called My Octopus Friend, uh -huh. if I recall correctly, or My Octopus Buddy. And it was a South African marine biologist. I believe that's what he was. That. Um, you know, went diving down where he lived and met an octopus and became friends <laughs> with this octopus and started filming. And uh, I've seen the movie. It is incredibly touching yeah. and, and, and mind-blowing. Again, like some creature that's so different to us, and yet, you know, these that's human amazing. beings have found a way to actually communicate with it. I, uh, I, wow. I got, I, got to see, I got to see lots of them when I lived in Greece, and they're always hanging up to dry because they eat them a lot. Mm. You know. And, and it was after I saw this documentary oh. about how intelligent they are and, and how they can interact with the human being. So they're just, how can you eat them? <laughs> well, you mentioned Greece, and in the book it talks about the Greek fishermen yeah. um, using the, the clay pots to catch octopus yeah. because they like to be in an enclosed space for a den. And of course, calamari, you know, is yeah. octopus. <laughs> and I mean, human beings pretty much eat everything, don't, don't we? I mean, as individuals, we might not, but as a species, yeah. we can be yeah. pretty gross. But, um, <laughs> yeah. Octopus is... is they a, do taste good. I saw that. Yeah. I thought, you know, how can you eat them? They're, they're such friendly creatures. Well, that's the thing. I think once you... It's the same with the pig. Like, I used to eat meat, and I mean, I still will once in a while, but I'm telling you, after I read that book, The Good yeah. Good Pig, I just couldn't enjoy pork the way that, you know, I used to. Then I had to go read the book about the chickens. Oh my God, that mm -hmm. ruined chicken for me, you know, because they yeah. have so much personality. Yeah. For and, sure. Um, yeah, so I probably won't be eating calamari again after reading this, even though I did find it scrumptious at one point in life. But, um, <laughs> And how the Greek fishermen uh, do it is that in order to get the octopuses out of their den, they just throw fresh water on it. And mm. fresh water is something that octopus hate, so they come out of the clay pots and they end up as calamari. Calamari, yeah? Yes. I and, thought, oh, sorry, I thought oh, no. calamari was squid. It, it's it officially it? octopus, but I guess it could be. I mean, you would know maybe better having spent so much time in Greece. What was the hell? Calamari, is it also squid or is it just octopus, calamari? No, I think it's, I think it's the octopus. It's I, I, okay. could be, I could be wrong. It's squid and clubs around town, that's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. And they're so related to each other. They're both, yeah. you know.